Bonjour, je suis comme Zozaren Udu. I am Queen Ku, the Hoodoo Queen, also known as the Dark Mother, CEO of Kanja South, owner of Komodo's Kanja, and the creators and founders of the Hoodoo Queen Kanja Fest. So thank you for watching today, tonight, in the morning, yesterday, whichever you want, for your free weekly Zodiac reading. So before we begin, I want to encourage you to go to the hoodoqueen.com if you're interested in getting a private reading or even a root work consultation where I can do the work for you you want to go to the hoodoqueen.com go to shop conjure once you go to shop conjure go to book consultation and start and rate once you have done that you can then choose from a 10 minute 30 minute or hour reading or a root work consultation what is the difference well the reading is going to provide you the information that you're looking for or whatever the situation may be. The root work consultation says, I know that I need to get rid of that ass, okay? Or better yet, I need that ass to come hither. Or maybe perhaps I need to get this house. Or um, I need to protect myself or repel things from me. Whatever the situation, or I need to cleansing. Um, whatever the situation may be, you can do that. You come to me with, this is what I want to do. Then I will do my reading and let you know, is that the best decision to be done? Should you do something else? Or if it can even be done at all, like a should it be done? So you have that option as well. So don't miss out on that. Also, if you go to the hoodoqueen.com, you are going to find a plethora, okay, of items from oils and candles and remedies. There are hair remedies. My people of color, and I mean I'm certain some non-people of color. But my women who are experiencing alopecia, um, traction alopecia, or just hair thinning, you do the Everlasting Hair um, Remedy Oil, um, you can do that. Incredible stuff. It works amazingly. Botijon Mist. This is a very beautiful, great moisturizer that you can use on your face. Um, you also have different situations like um, dirks and powders. A lot of people... In 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, here over the past 10 years, people been really heavy about these candle burnings, candle burnings, and oils, oils, oils. But baby, when you come to the South, when you talk about that Alabama conjure, when you talking about that Delta South conjure, when you're talking about, um, you know, the, 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 the Bible Belt conjure, when you're dealing with Southeastern, fresh off the boat, Juju, Gri Gri, Guinea Guinea, Hoodoo, Obia from the West Indies. Um, you then are looking at a lot of dirts, a lot of powders, because it's all about contact magic. Now, of course, you can do things um, by proxy, whether it be candles or sigils or whatever the situation or conjuring spirits. So, anyways. You can find dirts and powders at thehoodoqueen.com as well. And we are going to be extending and expanding that actual um, space as well. If you don't know exactly who I am, and I will try eventually to get away from this because I am building the YouTube fan base here. But if you don't know who I am, again, I am the Queen Cole, the Hoodoo Queen, also known as the Dark Mother. I come from a line of Hoodoo, Obia, and Shamans. This been in here in America for over 200 years doing spiritual work only. Not people who just had regular jobs, but this is what we did. This is what we've always have done. And there are people in my hometown that preach about us in the church with some really positive things to say about um, Susie Melina or Dolly Meadows um, and so forth and so on. I am a, um, So I come from that lineage. I was taught. And I was raised under my great grandma and my grandma and my grandpapa. I grew up under them, and they taught me um, the ways of our people. But they were born in the 1920s, so it's not this new age, put everybody in a jaw kind of deal. No, ma'am, no, sir. I'm bringing you 1920s hoodoo. I'm bringing you things that's, that's a whole lot fresher, okay, off the boat than what's being done today. There's a lot of mixing, there's a lot of match, um, mixing and matching and 
I'm going to take a little bit of Wicca, and I'm going to call it hoodoo. I'm going to take a little bit of Santeria, and I'm going to call it hoodoo. I'm going to take a little bit of this and that, I'm going to call it hoodoo. I'm going to take a little bit of voodoo, and voodoo, and voodoo, and vodan, and the Vita cheese, whatever the situation may be, and people want to call it hoodoo, and that's not the case. I am a traditionalist because I was raised by those who did it traditionally um, when it comes to hoodoo and obia and creek and alex shamanism. Um, so that's the, the, the conjuring of it all. And let me make this very clear. Conjure simply means magic. Conjure does not equal hoodoo. Conjure equals magic. So you have European conjure. This is your conning folk. You have Appalachian conjure. You have Asian conjure. So there's many different conjures. But when I speak of conjure, I'm talking about hoodoo. Okay? I'm talking about obia. Um, and then when it comes to reward, I'll, I'll do a complete another video on all of that. So anyways, that's what we have with um, the magic of it all. I am a gifted medium. I am a gifted psychic. I've had the gift of sight. As early as the age of five, I was reading people in a Baptist church. Um, and people in the South know people that read in churches are known as prophets or prophetess. So at the age of five, I was doing that. Um, and, and then I got into to card reading. Card reading is later on in my lifeline. Um, however, I don't need one card to give you your whole life. I'm just going to let you know. I speak easy, m easier or more easily speaking, summoning a spirit, having them speak to me and give you the information that you're looking for in the guidance. But anyway, so all that being said, this is your free weekly zodiac read. I'm going to go ahead and begin. Now... What I'm going to have to do is grab me a little paper here so that I can stay on track with these, um, these zodiac signs. I start at Capricorn and I go to Sagittarius, okay? I go, I start from Capricorn and then I go to Sagittarius. Always be that way. Always. Now, as you may have seen on the last video, I actually did um, a video on the Le Comedos Carte de Divination. Le Comedos Carte de Divination is the playing card set that I created um, through conjuring particular spirits over a number of days that came to me with different sim um, symbols, meanings, um, and this literally was a, a, a very intense experience. But it was also very beautiful. So I'm glad to be doing that. So today, I'm going to do a three card cut. I'm going to try to go through this a little quickly. Because it takes forever for these videos to download coming from a phone. So um, I'm going to go through them a little bit quickly. But I also want to give you like two cards per um, zodiac sign. Okay. So again, I am using the Le Comedos cards of Divination. Um, and I should be saying I am using Le Comedos Cards of Divination because I, what I'm, if you understand French and English, I am actually saying I am using DD versus just D, okay, so. Okay. You can also purchase this set as well as other sets, um, at thehoodoqueen.com. And you can also join me in the month of May, June, and July for the Hoodoo Healing House. This is a three-month online healing course that will allow you to really dig deep and heal appropriately. A lot of people are not healing correctly. A lot of people are not doing the work. A lot of people are lighting the candles and saying the prayers, but not physically doing the things they need to do. Really getting into the into the meat of of healing so i really want to provide that and i will probably go a little bit deeper with that a little bit later also you want to join every month i will be doing a um monthly community service so a lamp or candles or oils or something right so with that being said the latest one that's coming up this coming up month is the um pink moon the full pink moon 
and this is going to be a community service a lamp service that I am going to do and it's going to remove and help you release some things this is your personal spring cleaning okay if you purchase this you have an option of two options you can actually get um, a, a soap a pink moon soap it's an exclusive soap so every month I do an exclusive item and I do an exclusive service that only you can get by being a part of it so make sure you go check that out but it's for cleansing it's for releasing things that's tying you and binding you personally things that are holding you that those fears that's keeping you from asking somebody out those fears that's, that's keeping you from going out to meet somebody those fears for to, um, that you may have that, that you want to have a new job or a better job but you won't speak up this is going to remove that for you and I will do another video specifically talking about the pink moon in a little bit so here we go I'm going to shuffle three more times and then we will begin Okay, start with Capricorn. Capricorns, my loves. You get two particular cards. You get the cards of Colt, and you also get the card of Changement. No, um, Danger. You get the card of Colt and Danger. Colt and Danger. Um, Colt means that there have been some things that you've been doing or that you're going to be doing this week that you pretty much need to ride the wave. So whatever you've been doing, keep doing that. Don't change up the pace. Don't change up the, the method. Keep doing exactly what you have been doing. Cool. Why? If you do not, then you will be walking into or at least at the of um, danger. So you're going to go into danger. You do not want to go into danger. All right? So um, this also tells me for my Capricorns that this is also a week where you want to focus on doing protection work. You want to do some form of protection work. Wear a charm, an amulet, light a candle that's just going to repel those negative things from you. When you're praying to those ancestors, you want to say, guide me on my path so that I may move past those that mean me harm or issues or situations that mean me harm. So you want to pray for those kind of things in regards to guidance from the ancestors. Remember that, okay? Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius, baby. You get the ace of Karu and you get um Karu is Isis um of Karu. So um CSCF of Karu is or Diamonds. You get the Ace of Diamonds and you get the Six of Diamonds. This is gonna be cards are saying this week is about money for you. Or materialistic things for you that is without a doubt the ace really holds that true so finances materialistic things come about but you get CNC of of diamonds this is the six of diamonds this means there is money there is uh, materialistic things on your roads those things are there so just make sure as you are walking through this week and materialistic things are coming about please make sure that you are focused on your desires and don't let your desires be your distraction or your destruction don't get too greedy my loves don't get too greedy Pisces Pisces you get the cards of Marie et Maison and Trois ou Four Marie et Maison and Trois ou Four so Marie et Maison talks about um, marriage the home, um, those different situations pertaining to that. Trois ou four is three is a crowd, okay? There's too many things. So it says that in regards to issues or situations regarding 
your marriage, your relationship, that union that you have, um, or, um, or your home, or a home, there is one thing that's getting in the way that needs to be removed. Three is a crowd. There is one large issue in the way that needs to be removed so that you can get what you want or get what you need. Okay? So what we need to do is divine and figure out what that is. And then, oh my, something's in my eyeball. I do apologize. And then you want to, oh, it's just sleeping with this just to make sure. Um, so um, the what we really want to do is begin to pray um, and petition against whatever that one thing is. You want to do a blockbuster. You want to remove it immediately. You do not want to wait on it. So um, again, the full pink moon would be really great, especially if it's something personally that you need to let go. So if there's a big setback this week, identify what that is and be done with it. That simple, okay? Next, we have Aries. Aries, you bring the card of Grand, um, Grand Wish and, and the Ace of Twifler. So, um, Grand Wish is a card that focuses on, you can have a lot of riches, a lot of money, a lot of blessings, an abundance of blessings to come to you, opulence, if you will. Um, that can come to you. But you have to make wise decisions. Don't make good choices. Make the best choices in order to get what you're looking for. Also, you get the Ace of Twistlid. This is the Ace of of three of, of the Clover, okay? Of, of clubs. This says, this is opportunity, life lessons. So, with life lessons being here, if you make the proper decisions this week towards the things that you want, you're going to have a beautiful life lesson. If you don't, then you're going to also have a beautiful life lesson, but you may have loss. It doesn't show loss here. It just says make the best choice, not a good choice. Taurus. Taurus, you get the card of the Ace of Spades and the Veal. You get the Ace of Spades and the Veal. Ace of Space is a card that talks about loss. It talks about violence. It talks about fighting. It speaks of those things. And then you get Deville. And not just Deville. You get the um the red Deville. It has a very um mild glimpse of red in this particular card. And this means there are some major hidden issues that you're dealing with or going to deal with that you're not going to see coming. So, again, I will be doing cleansings. I will be doing repelling work. I will be doing protection work if I were you. It also sort of represents that somebody could have done something. Maybe somebody's out there not wishing you well this week and those things. So what I want you to do is say this for me. No weapons formed against me shall prosper, but those weapons that are formed against me shall take down my own enemies. Or may those weapons be used to strike down my enemies. Or may those that make those weapons fall by their own weapons. So saying things like that and making it very clear, not all of it, make it very clear, say that, know that is true, keep going on, surrender to it, and move on about your business. That's going to be my best advice to you this week, my Tauruses. So you're going to have a, you're going to have a tough week. I promise you, you're going to have a tough week. But as long, as long as you pray against, hold some protection with you. Also, ask the ancestors. Wash your eyes with some eye brights and ask the ancestors. Allow me to see clearly. Give me clarity to those things that are that may try to um, hit me from afar or 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 near. Okay, that's what you want to do. Gemini, Gemini, you get Mercury and you get La Reine of Haru. Okay, Mercury and La Reine of Haru. This is the Queen of Spades and this is the Queen of Diamonds. 
The Queen of Spades speaks of a woman scorn. Your divine feminine energy or yourself are actually scorned. There are some deep issues and pains that may resurface this week for you. This is going to cause issues towards you feeling your self-worth. See, the Laurel of Karu, the, the Queen of Diamonds, she is one that knows her worth, know her value. She has obtained a certain amount of worth that others are recognizing her worth and recognizes her value. This may be a little bit of a problem this week for you. So it, you may have a very sensitive, tender week. Keep that in mind, my love. Cancers. Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. You get um, Lisa Maru and, and Sul. Lisa Maru and Sul. So Lisa Maru is the card of the Two of Hearts. This is a card of lovers, fresh love, happy love, new love. So this talks about a new relationship. And also keep in mind, every relationship is not romantic. Okay? So it talks about that connection with another um, person, another thing, another idea, another event that is coming together. However, you get Sul. Sul. Okay? Sul is a, is a card... That talks about working alone. So to me, if you're getting this working together but working alone, you're going to have some tension. I advise you to work together versus trying to work alone or try to pull away or be distant or isolate yourself. So do your best this week to come together. Even if you got to just come along, to get along, to get farther along this week, that's what you need to do in regards to what's coming up for you. All right. Next card, Leo's. It's interesting. Leo, you get Peton, and you also get Surprise. You get Surprise, and you get Peton, which is a lion. Okay? This says, this week for you, you have unexpected blessings that are coming. Unexpected blessings that you have no idea are going to show up. But the only way they're going to really show up is if you take charge of your life. You got to be the leader of your life. So make some decisions, make them very clear, and you want to take whatever that is. If you can stand in your leadership, many other blessings are going to come, larger blessings than you ever imagined. So make sure you are listening well for me, okay? Listen well for me. Listen, please. Next. Virgo, Virgo, my love, you got confiance and un fond de vie. Confiance and un fond de vie. Confiance, un fond de vie. So, what this says is this week for you is also a week of coming together, working with someone, but not just working with somebody. It's talking about loyalty and honesty. So make sure this week for you that you are allowing yourself to trust freely or make sure that you are being very, very loyal to your partner, your friend, your job, or whatever the situation may be. So if you're thinking about doing something that you know a person you care for doesn't approve of, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Keep that in mind. The other... Um, card is un femme, uh, un femme et this is a card that says um, the wise woman this is the card of the seer listen to the reader right now because I'm giving you exactly what you need in order to succeed for this week for my Libras you get changement and you also get serenity changement and serenity changement is the card of the ten of um clubs and then you get serenity which is the five of clubs this is these particular cards first of all talks about change changes is coming to you these changes may be serenity serenity means drain so these changes is coming about for you my libras will be draining and that's pretty much a given you're a libra you don't like change you like to keep things balanced and keep things as they are but things are going to change this week. So it's going to be a little bit draining for you. Keep that in mind. Don't overlook it. 
Scorpios. Scorpios, you get Fidel and you get Restless She. Fidel is the card of, which is this one, which is the um, King of Clubs. And then Restless She is the card of Reflection, which is the Two of Diamonds. Fidel focuses on whatever promises you make this week, no matter what, commit to them and do them. Do not um, walk backwards. Don't with, uh, withdraw your your promise. Whatever things you say you're going to do, commit to it this week. Um, if you can commit to it, this will be a really great time to reflect, um, to see why you want to commit, the importance of it, of you committing to it. Recognizing and understanding the value of exactly why you have decided to commit to it at all. So this is going to be a very beautiful week for you. Excuse me, pardon. This is going to be a very beautiful week for you if you can hold very true to that space and um, and just committing. So, we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have CSC, and we also get this cool. Yes, this cool. So, CSC is is uh, these are both um these are both club cards okay um csc is the six of, of clovers so six of clubs this talks about opportunities being on your roads um this talks about um some really beautiful lessons being on your roads and i also want to show you all just very quickly how beautiful this card set is um I was going to show you how easily the cards read. Here we go. Oh no, this is not it. Well, I can't seem to find it. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful they read because they're very simple in reading. So anyways, it talks about that, but it also talks about on these roads, there's going to be some disagreement. There's going to be something that you're not going to agree upon. This is something, you know, one says up, one says down. So, with that being said, understand that this week I would ask you to pray into your life, petition into your life, understanding. Having clear understanding to where you're going, what you're about to do, those life lessons, those opportunities that's on those roads, and that's just that. So, this week for you, understanding is going to have to be a really big thing. Um, and a part of that understanding, and it's something that I've been hearing recently for me, which is that surrendering. Just surrendering to whatever's going on. Surrender to it and be done. So, anyways, my loves, I am Queen Cole, the Hoodoo Queen, also known as the Dark Mother. And I look forward to seeing you again. I'm going to post a couple of more videos um, about the Pink Moon service is coming up. Make sure you join that. Again, you can, I mean, the Pink Moon service is a community service that ranges for $8 to $17 so that you can purchase either one of those coming up this week. Check out the products. Just so many great, wonderful things. I appreciate you. Until next time, I'll be on too.